Windows are surprisingly complicated. That's what I've learned in the past few days trying to make miniature windows for my model house. At the start of this project, I did what I usually do, search the internet. And as someone who never really thought about windows critically before, wow. There are ones that open up and down. There are ones that open out. There are ones with shutters. And it just keeps going on and on. After becoming more informed, the type of window that I want to make is called a casement window. These windows are crank operated and usually open out like a book. Why these windows? Well, the house I'm mirroring with my model has these windows, and they seem like the window type with the most iconic mechanical movement. In other words, if I could come up with a way to match how the real things open, my model would look just that much more like a real window. Now, as the geometry of all the parts is something I wanted to figure out beforehand, I decided to make a prototype before getting started. I made a few different styles of casements. The first is pretty similar to how a real version of the window would open. There's a small bit of wire that causes the bottom of the casement to slide in a slot as it opens and closes. This action causes the window to clear the frame on the inside where it opens. While this design looks about right, it's very fiddly to put together. The little wire piece needs to be exactly the right length or else the mechanism binds. And the tolerances are such that it would be a bit hard to make a lot of them. So, in the pursuit of something easier to manufacture, I tried a slightly different mechanism. This is similar, but the metal wire is longer, and because of this, any small deviations in the hole positions are less important. I also tried a design without a wire, which somewhat worked, but I was less satisfied with. Anyway, a bit lost, I decided to take a look at some pictures of the real house. And I realized that the windows actually don't open horizontally at all, they open vertically. This type of window is called an awning window, and it has a bit different mechanism than a casement window. In a vertical orientation, that second mechanism, the one I liked more, mirrors the mechanism on an awning window perfectly. So that's what I decided to go with. I decided to make the windows out of oak. I wanted them to be made out of hardwood, and it's the hardwood I had on hand. Recently I've been buying these oak fence posts and milling them down to the size I need for each project. And in this case, it's a bunch of slabs, each around 3 16 inch thick. Each slab I marked and then cut roughly in half. I roughly marked the lengths of all the boards for the window and then cut them to rough length. Here are the boards. The ones in the left are for the outside frame that fits into the house, and the ones in the right are for the inside frame that holds the glass. Now that they are roughly cut to size, I'll square them up on the mill and trim them to final size. Now I'll cut the slot in the outside frame. This is where the inside frame will set into and pivot around. This is the outside frame, milled to size and with the slot feature added. I also did the inside frame, which is mostly the same process, only I milled the boards to a narrower width. The inside frame needs to accept a pane of glass, so I'll cut a groove for it to fit into.
In order for the inside frame to set into the outside frame, I'll make some pins. These will fit under the slot previously cut on the outside frame. On the inside frame, I'll drill some holes for these pins to fit into. Here are the finished pieces, ready to assemble into a window. I'll insert the pins into the holes on the inside frame. With the pins installed, this is how the inside and outside frames will meet. I'll put together the three sides of the inside frame with super glue. Before putting the final side on the inside frame, I'll cut some plexiglass to fit inside. I left a little bit of the film on the glass to mark which side is the shiny side, as this should go on the outside of the final window when installed into the house. I'll drill holes for the metal wire. I'll install a bent piece of wire which fits into these holes. I'll assemble the outside frame around the inside frame. After some finishing, here's the final window. Here's a close-up of the mechanism. Unfortunately, I got a bit of super glue on the window glass. I'll be careful to avoid that with the rest of them. Finally, here's the window installed in the house. Other than the super glue, I'm pretty satisfied with it. The opening motion looks right, which is really important, and I'm glad I spent the time up front to figure that out. I've only made one window so far. The house has 15, most different shapes and sizes. I started off by making all the windows for the side and back of the house. These are the windows for the upstairs sunroom, for the most part. They're all the same size, which made them easy. I also was able to do a few others, too. Making these windows takes time, and unfortunately I didn't have quite enough this week. I'll make the rest of the windows off camera and maybe showcase some shots of them in the future. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed following along with my process of making model windows for my house.